Arcpoint Quick Start Series, Video 3, Making a Game, The Complete Loop. This one is for those who can't wait the, for the full series to come out. Uh, we're just going to make a project, take a template, modify it a bit, and publish it onto the core platform. I'm not going to be really explaining much this video, uh, it's going to be more saying and doing. Okay, so we're loading into the home world. We're going to press Escape. We're going to go to Create. And once that's loaded in, we're going to go create new. We're going to go view frameworks because we want to use a template. And we're going to go third person team deathmatch. Now we're going to name this project something for in honor of our previous take where the screen didn't record. Yeah. So we're going to press create. We're going to be brought into this, the core editor. Now holding right mouse, we can move the camera around. And we can use WSD to move the camera, but actually move it. And we can use Shift to speed it up. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. So this is a team deathmatch template. We've got the blue corner here. I know it's red at the moment, but it changes upon pressing play. And that is the red map over there. So first of all, we're going to change out the materials. Now. I reckon that we'll uh, change it out to something different. What that is, I'm thinking maybe concrete. For fun, we're going to use just concrete. So concrete. We're going to go panels. Panels 2. We're going to do it for this side as well. Panels 2. Oh, also we went to the materials slots and we double clicked on them to bring up the materials. We're going to click on this color override to change the color. We're going to make it green. And we're going to copy in that parameter and paste it so we don't have to change it manually. Okay, cool. Now we're going to create a custom material by going to core content, materials, type in concrete, we're going to find the bunker, I'm going to right click on it, press new custom material. Now we're taking a project content that keeps all of our stuff, and in my materials we're going to find custom concrete, double click that, we're going to rotate the material 45 degrees because we can, and we're going to change the color to something darker green. I'm going to desaturate it a bit. This desaturates the color. Now we're going to click on this, cover that, select that, and we're going to drag and drop our material on. That's just going to straight up change all the colors on it. And now is the fun part where we got to do it for all of the objects. This is probably the longest segment of the video, just straight up changing all of these objects. Lots of fun. I'm not gonna, nah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna make you guys suffer. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Um, I'm going to put some music over this just to make keep things a bit interesting. Feel free to use the timestamps below to just straight up skip this segment. I won't take any offense, it'll be right. Okay, that's the majority of them. We're going to keep these default texture, grid texture, yeah, uh, because we can. And we're going to change out the floor. Oh, we're going to change out the floor. Now, unfortunately, it's not a single giant piece of floor. For some reason, these are all different floor cubes. Now, I am opening these 
individually like a full, but what I should have done is I should have right clicked on the parent folder and pressed expand all. That would expand all of these, so I just have to do the selecting part, which I'm doing by the way is control to select an additional thing and then shift to select everything in between. This allows me to select more than one object, which is really good. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna, okay, cool. We're gonna duplicate and we're gonna just drag this over it. But we're gonna open the material and then swap this out. Now, last time in the other tech, we went for a cool sci fi thing. Um, you'll, you'll never see that. Uh, <clears throat> instead, we're gonna go for more nature this time. So we're gonna go forest. Oh. <clears throat> Forest. There we go. Let's go forest floor two. Since we're going with like the green theme and all. Uh we're going to choo -choo 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 -choo. swap out the walls. Not a real fan of them anymore. Yeah, I know we said we're gonna use concrete, but uh things happen. Things happen. Forest. It's for the greater good, guys. It's for the greater good. Okay. So now this would be the majority of games on core. Um, but we're going to be a bit different. We are going to <coughs> make it fancy. So we're going to go find the sky. And we're going to delete it. We're going to go to core content. Open up sky. We're going to find something else. It's going to be cooler. It's going to be great. And it's going to be... Sky Early Morning 1. So we're going to open that up. We're going to change out the fog density. We're going to make it volumetric. Maybe we're not. I haven't quite decided yet. Change a bunch of colors and stuff. We're going to decide that no volumetric is not what we want. And... Seems good enough to me. I'm just going to quickly add a light source. So for that, there are three different types of lights. We'll find out in the light video. Uh, for now, we're just going to find a spotlight. Now keep in mind, I said light sp in the search bar, and it came up with Spotlight. Uh, you don't have to type the exact thing, you just need to type out, I'm going to say a bunch, a bunch of it. We're going to increase the max draw distance so we can see it from far away. Attenuation, uh, <clears throat> attenuation, sorry my voice has just instantly died on me. Uh, <clears throat> it is quite unpleasant. Now we're going to add some lights. No, we, we do kind of need um, volumetric fog for this. Oh, boy. Lower that. Okay. Lower the intensity. Uh, I'm going to press V to toggle on gizmo visibility. Uh, that's the things you can't usually see, like how far the light's going, trigger boxes, spawners, that kind of stuff. Just to be thematic, we're going to change this to be a little bit red. We're going to change this to be a little bit blue. And now, final thing, we're going to change the weapon. Oh, okay, maybe not final thing. We're going to add some trees in the background, but we're going to go and find it from community content. So we're going to type in tree. Uh, we're not looking for snow trees. Scene. No, we just want a bunch of trees. Giant tree you can walk in. Interesting. 
But what caught my attention is this Autom Oak. I'm going to download that. And now it's going to save the project. And we're going to go to Core Content. And under this imported content, we're going to find Autumn Oak. Lovely. Kind of need some hills. So we're going to generate some terrain. We're not going to really use it for anything. It's just going to be in the distance. So we're not too fuss. Okay, we're going to lower it. We're going to slap a grass material onto it. And it just looks that much better. You'll never see it, but well, it makes me feel better. We're going to move this autumn oak onto this hill. Close enough. Add a couple here and there. Rotate it a bit so it looks different. Oh, by the way, I'm using W, E, and R to switch between move, rotate, and scale. And just to be mysterious, we're going to have a super giant tree in the distance. Just like Valheim. Perfect. I'm going to delete this tree. And voila. Oh, we, we can make it bigger. Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Template of the gun. We're going to swap out the geometry. So, because we know this rifle already works, uh, this is the templates, by the way, my templates. Basic rifle, we're just going to drag that out. Turn off the gizmos because we don't need to see all of that. Now, to edit a template, you need to de instance it first. So, we're going to open that up. We're going to go to find a gun. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to find a gun. And the one we used previously was a Golden Tommy. We're going to use it again. If you're going to shoot at someone, it better be in style. So we're going to go to Core Content again. Tommy Gun. Drag and drop. Now, we don't need the actual weapon. We just need the geometry, which is the objects that make it up. So we're going to line it up a bit. We're going to try and line it up a bit. Cool. Gonna crack it open, de instance it, control X the client art, and paste it in here. Now we're gonna line up the uh, grips because we know they should line up. And if we do line them up properly, I'll hold them in the same position. Cool kill. Now we're going to update this, delete it, and press play. Now, in theory, uh, I have to fix that up. Now, in theory, we're holding a Tommy gun. Well, it's like an assault rifle, but it's a Tommy gun. Perfect. You know what? That doesn't need fixing. That's aesthetical. You know what? It'll be fine. Cool, kill. So now that we've changed that up, we're going to control S and we're going to publish the game. Now, there are two ways to do this. Both are practically the same. You can publish it in the top right corner, or you can go to File, Publish Game. It'll come up with this, Project Something 4, Sad Toots for Project Something 3, but that's not going to be the top sentence. We're going to make it Template Deathmatch Almost an Asset Flip, but not quite. Um, example of making a game. Quickly. Okay, we're going to add some tags. This is going to be uh, do, 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 do. puzzle, because we're not sure why it exists. Team deathmatch, because it's two teams fighting each other. And third person, because that's the view. Now we need a screenshot, so we're going to... Nah. We're going to just take a picture here. We're going to make it open for editing. And public, so there's public, unlisted, and child. That's all you need to know for now. Public. Review. Publish. And as easily as that, our game is on the core platform. You can copy this link, send it to your friends, or you can play now.
we're going to play now. It's going to close this. It's going to open this. Yeah. Now, since it's a fresh game, it's going to take a little bit to uh, open up because it needs to find the server, realize there's nothing there, and then it needs to create a server so that I can play my own game. sci-fi build and then found out that the screen wasn't actually recording well, well I didn't want to record call so that was kind of awkward but luckily it hasn't happened with this one so far okay and we're in the game just like that jumping shooting waiting idly for someone else to join you can see our giant tree Makes me feel like uh, exploring the world. Quite mysterious. We can see our singular hill. And yeah, so we're in the game. Nice. Okay, I hope you gained some sort of knowledge from seeing the loop of creating, editing, and publishing very quickly that glazed over everything. And with any luck, it'll jumpstart you making games. If you want actually in-depth tutorials, uh, keep an eye out for the next quick start video, because this one was just an outlier. I'll see you then. Arc point out.